If you observe any electrical projects or electrical circuits in MATLAB Simlink, the common thing is in every circuit we will take the block power GUI. Here GUI means graphical user interface. But we can't connect that power GUI to any element in our circuit. If you don't connect that power GUI block to any element, then why we need that? Let's see. If you open the MATLAB Simlink library, in Simscape's fundamental blocks, you can get the power GUI block. Why you can get here only? Why? Because if you use any block in these fundamental blocks like electrical sources, power alternates, interface elements, you must take the power GUI block. Okay. For example, in your circuit, you, you have any electrical sources like DC source, AC source, you must connect the power GUI block. Why? Because this power GA block is environmental block for only these elements only. Okay, only these blocks. If your circuit have any of these elements, then you must connect the power GA block. Okay. You can also connect the circuit without using the power GA block. Okay. In your circuit, you don't have the any of these elements like electrical sources, power tank devices, then you don't need to use the power GA. Okay. But if you have the elements in electrical sources or power electronics or anything in fundamental blocks then you must connect the power GA block okay for example I am taking the without using power GA block let me take another elements which does not have the fundamental blocks okay so for example in sources I am taking the sine wave to see the that waveform I need to take the scope right so go to things and take the scope okay here I did not take any element among this okay that's why I'm not using the power J block so now open your circuit let's connect these two okay now run your circuit then you can find easily find the result here okay so if you double click then you can easily get the sine wave that's it here I'm getting the sine wave right so here I'm not using the power J block because these two are not are the elements of these fundamental blocks okay that's why we no need to use the power GUI but if you take any of this element in fundamental blocks then you must connect the power GA block for example in electrical sources I am taking the DC voltage source and I am connecting it to the pow some power electronics devices like diode okay and I am also connect this diode to one load in elements I am getting the R load RLC load so take that one now if you connect these three let's see what will happen okay these three are the elements of fundamental blocks right so we must connect the power j block let's see what happen if you don't connect the power j block okay now connect these two now run your circuit it can't run why because it can cause the error like the diagram must contain the power gui block okay that is the error we are getting okay so why because here we are using the block set power gui environment blocks here that's why we need to connect the power j so now let's connect the power j block now run your circuit yes it is ready so here that is the thing whenever you use the blocks in surrounding of power gui you must need to connect the power gui block okay so for better results you need to connect the top of the your circuit and the main operation of this power gui block is it allows to choose the one of the methods to solve your circuit here if you open the power gui we have three different simulation type like continuous discrete or phasor these three are the solving methods okay if you want continuous you can take the continuous solver that is nothing but the variable step solver if you look at the difference between continuous and uh, discrete here is the best exam example so here if you take the example as variations of human heights like in humans we have the different types of heights someone having the height of three feet and someone have four feet five feet six feet six and a half feet five and a half feet like that we can't take the fixed value okay but that is the continuous one for best example of discrete one is human blood groups okay if you take the human blood groups we have only fixed four blood groups that is a b a b and o we don't have any another blood group other than this right that means discrete have the fixed values and continuous have the variable values right that's why if you take the power j block here we have the continuous if you take the continuous solver then 
which uses the variable step solver okay if you take the discrete then our electrical system for a solution at fixed time steps here we can take the fixed time values that's why whenever you take the system to discrete then we have the sample time fixed sample time right this is the default sample time of 50 e power minus 6 okay that means 50 into 10 power minus 6 that is the fixed time steps whenever you can take the discrete okay and whenever you use the phasor then we have the phasor frequency so whenever you use the phasor we need to give the phasor frequency okay here default frequency is 60 hz okay you can take any solver depending on your circuit if you want to take the continuous then the solver will be the variable step if you take the discrete then the solver will be have the fixed time steps okay don't forget and one more thing is we can also use the two power j blocks okay but 90% of the projects only use the power, single power J block but if you have the two or more independent electrical circuits then you can also take the two power J blocks okay so here if you take the another system like this only so here I am taking the two systems so if you want to simulate the two different independent circuits you need to make the subsystem first okay so first of all take this and right click and here the create subsystem from the selection that's it they have the subsystem right so like this you can also subsystem this independent block also you can use directly command ctrl g for subsystem okay that's it so now you can easily run your circuit with these two different power j servers so like that you can also use the two power j blocks for two independent circuits in power j block not only solver methods are there but you also have the some tools here we have the different tools first one is steady state so here you can use the steady state tool for display the steady state voltages and currents of the model okay and we also have the initial state here this is the one of the tool to display the initial capacitor voltage and inductor currents of the model okay so if you have any capacitors and inductors in your circuit then this block can display the capacitors initial voltages and inductors initial currents and next one is load flow so here load flow tool is to perform the load flow analysis and initialize three phase networks and emissions so that the simulation starts in steady state here the load flow tool uses the newton ramsar method to provide a robust and faster solution compared to the mission initialization tool so here we have the mission initialization tool so this is also used for the three phase networks containing three phase missions so that simulation starts in steady state okay next one is impedance me measurement here you can get the impedance versus frequency graph and next one is fft analysis here fft means fast fourier transmission analysis here you can get the harmonics of your waveform if you have the any ac waveform and if you want to find out the harmonic content in that waveform then you can need to apply the fft analysis then you can easily get the how much content of harmonics in your waveform like total harmonic distortion okay and next one is linear system analyzer so this tool is used to generate the state space model to your circuit or to view time and frequency domain responses okay and next one is hysteresis design so here we can use this hysteresis design tool to design a hysteresis characteristics of a saturable core of a saturable transformer and the three phase transformer blocks and next one is rlc line parameters so here you can use the rlc line parameters to to compute the rlc parameters of an overhead transmission line from the conductor characteristics and the tower geometry and then last one is generate report here you can use this generate report tool to generate a report of steady state variables initial states and mission load flow for a model and we also have advanced tools like customized sps block here sps means specialized power systems blocks in our power systems library we have we have the fixed elements like diodes inductors capacitors or like that only so here if you want to create the another block so if you take the older versions of MATLAB like 2009 we don't have the solar panel directly right so if you want to take that into your block then you can use this tool and create the new block and it can automatically added in your 
symlink library then you can easily connect the block to your circuit always you no need to again and again connect the all inner blocks okay you can take the fixed block and create it as a new library and you can take the block whenever you need it that's it these are the tools we are used in the this power gear block okay and we also have some preferences here so here if you want to disable the warnings then you can click on this one and here if you want to display the compilations messages then click on this one okay by default we can see the warnings and we can't see the compilation messages okay so if you don't want to see the warnings then click on this one and if you want to see the compilation messages then click on this one okay that's it so next one is you can tick this tick box if you notice a slowdown in your performance when you using the accelerator mode in matlab so in matlab we have the accelerator mode also to fast up our simulation time okay so your circuit is running slowly even when you are using the accelerator mode then you must click on this one okay then your circuit will be run as faster okay and here we can also have some load flow values as frequency and base power and we can rate the voltage as kilovolts and the units of power is megawatt okay like this you can take as the defaults for load flow okay that's it these are the things we need to know about the power gi completely okay